Hi there, this is Becca with Amazing Paper Grace and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful honeycomb ornament. Here are the supplies you're going to need for this project. For my honeycomb ornament I used Spellbinder's Heirloom Ornament Die Template. For my paper I used a specialty artist paper from Hobby Lobby. However, you're able to use any text weight paper, although cardstock will not work for this project. It's simply too thick. Other options would be print from a book, book print, or wrapping paper, possibly tissue paper, as long as it's thin paper, because it's going to give the ornament the ability to stretch and to uh, flex. So. From my paper, I need to cut 18 die cuts. I've already gone ahead and done that. The next step is to fold the dies. When you fold these, if you've used two-sided paper, you'll get a different look depending on the way that you fold them. If you fold, whatever color you fold to the outside is going to be your dominant color. So I'm choosing to see this purple, and I'll fold each of these exactly in half. Okay, so now I have all 18 of my shapes folded, and I can go ahead and set them aside. When I was cutting them out, I reserved one of the negatives that was left over after cutting so that I could use it for a template. And this template that I've marked on will show me where to put my glue dots. And that will enable me to be consistent every time. So if you don't have any paper left over, it's fine to do out of, um, out of a scrap. But do go ahead and have a template and mark your twos and ones as I have done here. So the next step is to take a folded shape and open it and lay it right in that negative. I have a set of tweezers and I have my glue dots. So I'm going to put a glue dot where I've noted a one. Here. here, and here. And it's going to be the same steps for each shape. I've put all the glue dots for the ones. I'm now going to close this just like I found it and sandwich those glue dots inside. So now I'm going to take and put a glue dot where it says two. Here. here, here, and then here. And it's okay that this one hangs off of the back. This is the center of the ornament and it will never be seen. So now that I'm done with the first shape, I'm ready to take another shape and do the exact same thing with it. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to layer it right on top of what I already have here. Like so. And again, I'm going to put glue dots everywhere that it says number one. Here. Here. And here. And then I'll close that sandwich in the glue dots and I'm going to put another set of glue dots everywhere it says two. Okay, so I'm going to take and do those same steps 
for each of my shapes. So now I have all 18 of my ornament shapes glued together. I'm going to take just a second to press on the glue dots just to make sure that they adhere well. And so the next thing I can do is go ahead and put on my last layer of glue dots. Okay. So now I'm ready to take my red tacky tape and apply it along this spine. Like so. Once you get it in place, you want to take and you want to burnish it down so that the adhesive on the tacky tape will stick to the spine. Now this is always a little bit of a tricky part. Getting that one corner to come up. There we go. And so what I've done already is I have a length of seam binding with a crystal threaded on the end like so. And I tied it in a knot and then I moved the knot down to the center so that I would actually have a loop. I'm going to actually apply that to the um, inside. and then I'll press that in place. And that'll give me a loop at the top. Now some of my glue dots came off so I'll have to just apply them again. And then we'll be ready to do the final adhesion on this. Okay. So now I'll take and I'm going to unfurl this. And it won't feel like it wants to go, but I need to go all the way around. And if any of my glue dots come undone, I'll just need to go back with some stronger glue. So now I've married the front to the back. Pressing down on those glue dots so that they'll stay. And then the last thing to do is take and put your finger in each one of these openings. And it's just going to make the uh, paper relax a little bit in the state that it's going to be in now that it's unfurled. And that's it. That is your honeycomb ornament.